But I hadn't had sex in years. Tertiary syphilis means you've had the disease for at least that long. Does that mean you also have it? Probably not contagious at this point. Can it cause hallucinations? It's unlikely. Why? While I was on the operating table, it, it didn't feel like a dream. I saw the boy who I was caring for. The one who died. He walked right up to me. What did he say? He just held my hand. It was like he forgave me. Do you think that's crazy? I think it should give you solace. Help you to move on. You slept with your patient? You're off the case. I saved her from brain damage. You think my judgment's the least bit compromised? She's still sick. If she dies, we'll be in the middle of a brand new investigation. This is about you covering your own ass. I gave you time, leeway, and you decided to do whatever the hell you wanted. House can dance all over the rules, gets me knifed and he gets a pass. I break a rule, no one gets hurt, but you kick me off my own case? Unfortunately, yes. I'm sorry. I took that scalpel for you. That's why I did this. Three weeks ago, you never would have slept with a patient and you never would have operated on her after. You need help. I need to get away from House and everything that reminds me of him. By breaking the rules, not caring what anyone else thinks. You're gonna get away from him by turning into him? It hurts. <sighs> Right upper quadrant, pain and distension. What's wrong with my stomach? Nothing. This is your liver. The liver failure could be from intraoperative hypotension. Check the anesthesia sheet. Pressure was fine throughout. Thrombus? That voice in the hall that none of us have any reason to be listening to is, not surprisingly, wrong. Abdominal ultrasound was negative. Then we have to assume liver failure is just another symptom of whatever she's got. Trousseau syndrome could send clots, cause ischemic foot, add the enlarged lymph node, macrocytosis. Disseminated T-cell lymphoma. Wilson said it wasn't cancer. Wilson says it's not breast cancer. Sarcoidosis. Normal ACE level. Highly insensitive for sarcoid. Negative chest x-rays aren't. Then we've got a biopsy. Yeah, Foreman's clearly wrong. You're clearly not grasping at straws because you're clearly not emotionally involved. I know you want to believe that this is something we can cure. It's not. I'm sorry. How soon will they know if it's cancer? Within hours. And if it is? It's always chemo. You say that like it's not gonna work. Could extend your life. Years. I'll be here as much as you need. You still never told me why you left the seminary. Mary Nola, wife of the groundskeeper. He caught me with her, got me with a rake. The scars on my ass, you may have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it was so shallow. I wasn't exactly wrestling with great theological questions. I don't believe that. You don't sleep with the groundskeeper's wife, not unless you're struggling with whether you belong there. I always wanted to believe. It would have made my life a lot easier. They never talk. Doesn't mean it's too late. Are you having trouble talking, like before? 
I can get the words out. It just feels heavy when I do. What? Or from which chewing muscles are. I'll be right back. That's finally got you. We tried, but I gotta go. You should have seen it. It was perfect. <laughs> she has jaw claudication. If you only heard claudication and corroded section, I'd say giant cell arteritis. And I'd tell your former teammates to put her on steroids. She's gonna live. Yeah. And then what? They say my liver functions better, and I can get out of here soon. When you do, I'm gonna take you to Puerto Escondido. Mexico? From Mexican pipeline. Early May is when the surf really picks up. But... What's wrong? I spoke to the prioress. You going back? I felt the calling. When you saw the boy? I felt God's love, his grace. I've been waiting my entire life for that. It's not real. I know you didn't feel anything when you almost died. I did. You felt oxygen deprivation. You felt your brain releasing noradrenaline. You didn't say that before. I wanted you to move on with your life. I wanted to reassure you. I, I wanted you to feel better. And now you don't? Now... I think I love you. Noradrenaline and near-death experiences. Oh, dear. You saw God? She did. She wants to go back to the monastery. So now you're preparing a PowerPoint presentation to keep her in your garden of earthly delights. You're an idiot. Because I found someone I love? Because you're an idiot. At least you two have that in common. Her feelings are based on a chemical process. They're going to wear off. You just slept with her. Your brain is exploding with oxytocin. You think that's gonna last through the ages? She's throwing away her life because of blind faith. So are you. She's found something she wants to build her life around. It's a total illusion, but apparently she'll take a little ignorance with her bliss. You wanna take that away? How many times have you seen the truth in people's faces? Because it's the truth, not because we're gonna live happily ever after. Either your relationship just blows up like every other non-magical romance, or she stays with you but blames you for stripping all the meaning out of her life. This has nothing to do with the truth. You don't like that I'm reassessing my life, but I want to change it, but I can. Anyone can screw up a life. I never said that wasn't possible. You're incapable of human connection, so you want everyone to be like you. If I wanted you to be like me, I would be urging you to make a stupid, stubborn decision that blows up your life and leaves you lonely and miserable. You reassess your life when you've made mistakes. You didn't. You just got stabbed. <laughs> 